A popular spot to cool off in Austin is closed, and it's not just because fall is a few weeks away. It is not the first time it was shut down for repairs. KXAN's Alex Capriello asked the Parks and Recreation Department about it and was told, be patient, it will be worth it. Who doesn't love to hang out by the water? Jerrica Houston takes this little one to splash pads every day. Peace is splash pad, Clarkville is splash pad. I, I think it's called Ramsey. They had to settle for Pease Park since their favorite, the Liz Carpenter Fountain, is officially closed. And I'm like, oh, now it's too late. We are not going to make it there. So I guess we're going to have to wait until next year to go to the big splash pad. Mother Nature and natural wear and tear have led to growing pains for the fountain over the years. It was never meant to be a splash pad in the first place, so it was shut down in 2010 to accommodate the flood of people cooling off. Then in 2015, spring floods led to a leak in the pumps and electric issues. Those problems were treated with temporary fixes until now. While this isn't the first time the Liz Carpenter Fountain has been shut down, Austin Parks and Recreation hopes it'll be the last. They're going to take the splash pad's electrical system and raise it above the ground, which they say should be a permanent fix. There's less risk of uh, failure by having it above grade from uh, any kind of water damage. Um, it'll be more secure. Uh, our maintenance staff will be able to better watch and look over the equipment too, instead of kind of going down into a vault. This will also pave the way for the Alliance Children's Garden going up right beside it. It should become a playground unlike any other in Austin. Really want to get more people outdoors, um, creating community. It's, it's really been a big focus of our department. The improved splash pad and garden will open in January. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. Officials with the Austin Parks and Recreation Department say these repairs will be funded through the Town Lake Venue Fund. That is paid through the rental car tax from people visiting Austin. It is how the majority of features at Butler Park have been paid for. City of Austin operates 11 splash pads. Here's a look at where the city's splash pads and pools are located. The blue dots are the splash pads and the red dots are city pools. Right now, Liz Carpenter is the only splash pad that is closed. To see if the splash pad or pool nearest to you is open, we have a link for you on KXAN.com.